Welcome back to the Decide of Havoc here, and we are back on a little more Scott modern Skyblock 3. And as you can see, I've kind of made a few changes. <clears throat> I just wanted to kind of clean the area up so it felt a little more organized. And I don't want to like build out and just have a huge platform of stuff. I do want to kind of, you know, organize by mod, basically. And I haven't really come up with a, a build model that I want to come up with, like a build style. So... For the time being, I just thought, well, let's clean it up and make it look a little nicer and neater. And so that's what we've done. So no more cobble floors, because I really hate cobble floors. And then I kind of was playing around. <clears throat> I saw your comment about um, the dark oak trap doors being able to work for the wooden um, uh, combustion casing or whatever. And it did work, and that was awesome. And in the process, I got a couple of the trap doors. I was wondering how many of these would work and where else I could put it. And so I thought just kind of condense it so I didn't have big blocks sticking off on the side. I used trap doors to hold the lava in place for the uh, crucible. And then also trap doors here for the crystal fluid. And so that holds those in place and it looks kind of nice. I've got these two sticking out, but what are you going to do? Can't be perfect. Um, and then up here where I was using the stone grate for my other one, I'm still using the stone grate. But I was like, hmm, if the stone grate's on it and that makes it a complete block, if I put this dropper right here and then throw items in, will it just drop it in the chamber and work? And it does. And so basically I've kind of helped the system where all I gotta do is drop items in here, give a couple clicks on the lever, and then items will fall in here and I can kaboom in there. So that's kind of my idea right now. And then, yeah, and then I condensed my cobblestone generator down this little guy. I wasn't really needing a lot of cobble, not as much as I was making, so I just kind of condensed it down. And I just think it's kind of fun having all the little like windows to see what's in everything. So, so yeah, that's where we're at now today. I want to, I kind of skipped over it. I made this guy and I didn't really know what it did. The sluice box. I know that I had looked at it and I was like, okay, what are you good for? Right. And basically it's uses are to make these rocky chunks into iron chunks, nickel, aluminum. And I'm assuming these are probably side items. And then get some cobblestone back out of it, right? And it's just a whole bunch of those. But it does other stuff too, like I can get flint from gravel. I can get gold from sand. Um, so there's other materials I can get. Um, this stardust I can get from um, this star metal stuff. So I was kind of reading about it, and it looks like it actually ore doubles in a sense, right? So right now, if I were to put like um, this boron in here, right? And I go like so, it's gonna make me a couple, you know, ingots. Like how many do I have right now? I've got 18. No, sorry, not 18. I've got eight. And it's gonna keep me make me a couple uh, ingots depending on, I think it's at 144. So I think I get two, almost three from each ingot. And so that's cool and all. But if I can use this to double, I think that'll be pretty awesome. And the way I get iron chunks is by smelting those. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, but to get these, I need to put uh, an ore on top of the crushing table. And then ores, this was like where I was kind of trying to figure things out. How do I get an iron ore? So let's look up ores real quick and just go random on gold, right? I can make gold in the condenser. And I was trying to figure this out earlier and it was like, you know, gold, a chemical ore with stone makes that. And I was like, well, how does that work in the condenser? Because right now I've got the fluids going in there. I was like, huh, how can we make this work? Then I realized something. If I make a stone generator, so stone is right above this block, or just put a blank stone right there, I think that might work. I think it may. And so I don't have any gold uh, chemical dust, but I can make some real quick. And I want to test this out. So if I put a piece of stone in there and see if it makes the dust, um, where are you at? Gold or chemical dust. So it's two glowstone and a wheat. And I can do that really easy to glowstone. Oh, never mind. I don't have enough glowstone. Let's, I forget the recipe for glowstone. <coughs> four redstone, <coughs> two blaze rod. So four redstone, two blaze rod. Then I just put them up in here like this. And I'm going to need a piece of coal because I don't have any heat in the uh, casing right now. So you do your thing. And then I just... Do this a couple times. I know this is a bit much, but it puts everything in. And then kaboom. 
Why did you not work? Did you not have enough heat? Oh, that's right. This one takes a lot of heat. Let me just put a whole stack in there. All right, so heat go in there. You do your thing. And then we'll put these six in there. All right, that was everything. Cool. Heat is going to be high enough now. And then kaboom. And there we go. We got some of that. Cool. And then I've got wheat over here somewhere. I haven't got these 100% organized and going in between uh, mod packs and stuff like that. I tend to forget where stuff's at, but mm, over under this table, bink and bink. And this should give me quite a bit of ore now that I'm up at 450% per, or not ore, but the alchemical dust. So that should give me quite a bit. I can grab the rest of it later. But what I want to do is put some stone in there and find out if it's going to do what I think it's going to do. Let's just grab eight real quick. Put you in there. Grab a piece of charcoal. Smelt you up. So I'm thinking if I put some of the fluid in there, which actually this might be kind of difficult because I think, yeah, I've got a backlog. I guess I'll just have to waste that crystal fluid. Um, but if it works the way I'm hoping, I can just drop this down, put the stone in like so, then put a piece of gold in and it is working. Now it's slow, but it's working. And I'm thinking we can then get some iron ore and put it in the sluice box and we'll see how that works. So once this is done, it shouldn't be too much. Long. Oh, there it goes. It's not working anymore. Do I need more? Hold on. That's a piece of stone right there. Right where it needs to be. It seems to be working. Wonder why it stopped working. I didn't take anything out, did I? Oh, and that I literally grabbed all I had. Okay. So it's taken a little long. Oh, I see. So one of these didn't quite go all the way. Uh, and that's why it stopped in the middle. Okay. So... It's not fast, but if I can get the speed up, and I think the casings can affect that as well as the condenser itself, then what I can do is start basically creating these ores and getting two per, I believe. We'll see if this works. I, I'm, I'm just hoping right now. Okay, so then it did that. Cool, so I get an iron ore. Now, if I put you there. No, you don't place? Do I just throw you on? So many things are just thrown. Let me, let me get some water and see. This is all trial and error here, but I, I have a feeling I'm in, on the right path at least. So if I put water in you, okay. And then I put you, or do I just throw you on? Well, that didn't last very long, did it? Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna figure out the sluice box. I didn't wanna like watch videos. I really kind of wanted to experiment and figure it out for myself. Hold on, let's see. So. The sluice box. Let's let's look at this again. Your uses. Oh, you take this stuff. Okay. And oh, that's that's the step I'm missing. Okay. So I'll put you here. Let me grab my hammer. I think I've got this. I think I've got this figured out accurately. At least I'm hoping I do. Okay, this doesn't seem to be working. Why isn't this working? I did this with ingots earlier, right? Is this the right hammer? Yeah, stone hammer, magnetic craft. Crushing table, magnetic craft. Hold on, let's take an ingot and see. If I take you, put you here. That works, okay, so I'm doing the right thing. So, how do I get you? Crushing table, gold ore, gives me rocky ore. Do I need a better hammer? Is stone not enough? Is that possibly the problem? Could it be the hammer's not good enough? Um, let's see, just a stone hammer. Iron hammer maybe? Let's try an iron hammer out. Let's see if that's what I need. 
So four iron ingots and two sticks. And I've got the iron for that. I really, I'm hoping this works. I mean, I, I can't say it any better than that. I'm hoping this works. I think I'm on the right path, but you never know. Iron hammer. Let's see if that works. Ah, see, so I just had to upgrade the hammer. Okay, cool. Now we're on the right path. Or I keep saying that. I've said that a lot over the last couple episodes. On the right path, on the right path. But I think I've got this. So do you go in there? You go in there. And then I put water. Oh, I see it working. I see it working. And we get one. Just one gold chunk? That's not doubling or anything? What does one gold chunk turn into? Ah, the gold chunk turns into two. That was the doubling thing. Okay, so if I put you in there, I should get two ingots out of you. That's a little extra work to get, you know, what can basically happen pretty quickly over here with this. Um, oh, I'm already out of for fluid. But I don't have to keep doing fluid if I do a stone generator. That is something to think about. Because if I can create a stone generator and I don't have to create uh, the crystal stuff anymore, that could be pretty good. And I just can't automate this process, but I could do a whole bunch at one time. I don't know. I think that's at least something to keep my eye on. That's that's what that is. That's something to keep my eye on and think about. But that's not even what I really care about today. Today, I want to try to get... Oh, what don't I need? I don't need you. Goodbye. Let me try that again. Goodbye. Good. I made a diamond one. I don't need that one. Um, I want to get going on the quest book stuff and try to get some more stuff unlocked. So you see, I've been looking around. We were here last episode and I was in the middle of finishing the silky jewels. Today we are going to finish those silky jewels because I got a whole bunch of string now. Like that. And my emeralds are right here. I only need five of them. So let's look up the silky jewel silky jewel is for these so i'm gonna need 20 of these so i'm gonna need 20 ingots and i think i have enough gold i do oh perfect and i grabbed 20 that never happens and so i need to make you so let's make up 20 of you perfect and then i need to make you so like that and there's that that should be a mission accomplished, right? Or do I have to submit it? I have to submit it. And I can claim. And we've unlocked stage BA. Which one's BA? What's BA? BA is probably basic automation. <gasps> oh, we've unlocked some stuff. That makes me so happy. The first thing I want to do is upgrade this guy right here. This is the first thing I want to do. Come on, give me you. So that way we can start just getting stuff like crazy. Um, so I need to go make a hopper. Um, dark wood planks, five, and a chest. Perfect, I already got you guys. So chest, boop, 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 like that. That's a wooden hopper. Oh yeah, I need an iron hopper. <laughs> I need the iron. Come on, man, use your brain, use your brain. All right, and let me grab eight planks. Make it up another crafting table. There you go. And you, like this, right? Yes, and then Hopper goes like that. And now, ah, oh, Hopping Bonsai, awesome. I'm probably gonna make one up of these for each individual tree that I need. Um, I'm gonna do Jungle Sapling just because I want cocoa beans right now. And I don't see any of these other trees being really, you know, all that necessary. Oh, awesome. And look at that. We, we are already getting accomplishments. We're already getting accomplishments and we're getting loot chests. And let's pop this loot chest and see what we get. Some storage upgrades. That'd be awesome. And let's put you over here. You do your thing now. You do your thing. I'm so happy. All right. So <clears throat> next thing we're going to be looking at is the very last one of this row, which is this one over here. I need to get a whole bunch of slime balls. So I'm thinking if I make a couple of these hoppers, right? And I'm able to make all these trees, we should be able to do it. So the purple slime tree, the blue slime tree, and the orange slime tree. That is going to take some work here. So uh, life infusion. I need four slime balls on a sapling to do it. Okay. How do I get these slime balls? 
combustion with a green slime ball and some lapis. So I'm going to need four green slime balls, which is probably going to be universal for all these, I'm assuming. And I'm going to need four purple and I'm going to need four orange. So it sounds like I'm going to need 12 slime balls. So how do I get slime balls? How can I make slime? Slime is with snowballs and plant matter. I've got tons of plant matter. So I basically just need 12 snowballs. It might be time. It might just be time to make ourselves a snowman. So I don't have to do this anymore. I don't know if the freezer makes it. Well, how else can I get snowballs? I know I can make them by doing um, the water bottles. I know that's super simple. Is there another way to get snowballs? It doesn't look like it. So I guess water bottles it is. And I've got some around here somewhere from every other time I've made snowballs. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Actually, I just need eight, don't I? I just need eight to make my snowman. All right, so let's see. Let's, let's make this happen. All right, and does this thing have enough heat in it? Oh yeah, you're good on heat. Okay, so boop, 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 boop. So let's see if this works. Snowball. I mean, <clears throat> it's not the most productive way, but it's getting the job done. I'm okay with that. There we go. Eight snowballs. Cool. We'll make some snow. There we go. And I think I've got a pumpkin in here somewhere. Right there. And now we just need a container for our snowman. So let us get some slabs, right? Um, five, will five be enough? So where am I gonna put the snowman? I'll put him right here in this corner. He shouldn't be able to jump. So he'll be right there. So if I put you there and you there, he'll be in there, but he can actually jump up. So I need to put you there. <clears throat> And you there. And that just went over the edge. Turn it. So let's make up a couple more slabs. I need to do something about these animals. These animals are going a little bit crazy around here. Um, how am I going to do this? We'll do it like this. I'll just walk along the edge. All right. And like that. That should keep him nice and safe, right? I think I'm doing this right. And then, snow there, snow there. And, oh no, that one's gotta be one higher. He can't stand there. Guess we'll go back around and do this again. <clears throat> um, so you like that, right? Give me that. And snowman. Sweet. Then I can just make myself a shovel. Do I have a shovel? Did I ever make? I don't have a shovel, do I? Let me go make a shovel real quick. That's super easy. I think I got some sticks on me. I've got one stick on me. You doing good things over here? You doing good things over here? I hope so. And stick, stick, stone, shovel. And I should be able to just kind of get unlimited snow, right? Oh, that's so nice. Look at all that snow. Oh, I never have to use the combustion thing for snow ever again. Thank you, Mr. Snowman. You do your thing. Tons and tons of snow. Okay, cool. So, now I need a whole bunch of plant matter. Okay, and it was 8 to 1. Is that what that was? 8 to 1? Uh, it's under combustion. 8 to 1 gives me one of those. So I'm gonna need, well, I only needed 12 snow. Um, it's only 200 heat units, so this one can do like 10 at a time. Okay. So I might just do this one manually. So I can do 3,000, which means I can do 15 at a time. Oh, that's more than enough, okay. So one, two, three, four, throw you in there. 
good. And then I'm just going to throw all this like plant matter in there. I don't know how much I'm going to need. So as long as there's enough in there, right? Hey, get all in there. And kablooey. Really? Do my measurements have to be more accurate? <laughs> I was hoping. I was hoping. It's got, it's 200 heat. Oh wait, do I just not have enough heat? No, I've got heat. Got 3,000 heat. I should be able to do 15 of these at a time. So, one, two. So, there's 12. 12 times 8 is 80, 96. So, you and half a stack. Good. And Kablooey. I got four. I can only do four at a time. All right. So... Half a stack of you. One, two, three, four. Oh, and I'm picking them up, aren't I? Good grief! Okay, let's do that again. So half a stack and four. I wish there was a way I could reach that button from up here. That's the problem, and that was what I was kind of going with when I did this. Um, I was kind of hoping I could reach that, do it like this, but... There we go. And half a stack and four. And finally, four and half a stack. And yes, we are good to go. We've got our 16 slime. <clears throat> now I need to make all the different colored slime. So let's go back to that slime ball. So blue is lapis, right? So I need eight lapis, which I think I should have. I think I've gotten quite a, yeah. So there's eight lapis. Um, I need purple, which means I need purple dye. Oh, or magenta dye, that's not even purple. Oh, it is purple dye, okay. Um, red and blue dye. So I can do it with lapis and red dye. I need red flowers. What's orange? Is that going to be orange dye? A uh, magma cream. Oh, but it gives me two. Okay, cool. So I can turn two of these into magma creams because I've got blaze powder. Right? And I can do this, right? Okay, cool. I can make them like that. And then take you. That's what it said, right? Or is that a combustion? Oh, it's a combustion. Okay. I can do that. Um, boop, boop. Magma creams. And one, two. Cool. Got the orange ones. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And let's go make the blue ones real quick with the lapis, right? Oh, is that a combustion as well? Good grief. Okay. So eight of you. One, two, three, four of you. Make sure you're all going in there. Three blue. Two and one. Do I not have heat? Yeah, I do. All right, cool. So we've got blue, we've got orange. Now I just need some red dot. You know what? Let's grab some bow meal. I've got quite a bit of bow. Well, not quite a bit, but some. And hopefully I can go get some flowers. I only need, how many magenta do I need? I need two for one. So I'm gonna need eight magenta, which basically means, and that gives me two. Okay, so I'm gonna need four flowers, basically. Four flowers. Four red flowers. All right, let's see if we can get them. One, two, and these break down into two, right? No, they break down into one. Okay, so I need two more flowers. Oh, how, when do I ever get lucky enough for stuff like that to happen? Seriously, that never happens. Um, I'll just leave these seeds, seeds sitting around right now. That never happens to me, like, ever. 
Okay, cool. So we've got our blue dies. I can make, or I mean my red dies. So now I just need to go grab four more lapis. One, two, three, four. And mix you two together to make magenta. Eight of you. Eight dies. One, two, three, four of you. And put them all in. It's probably only gonna make three again. I have a feeling it's gonna only make three again. Yep. <clears throat> two magentas, one of you. All right, cool. So now we've got all those. Okay, let's, I don't need these seeds right now. I've got plenty of seeds. I don't think I got any new ones right now. So let's go somewhere where I can dispose of this stuff. Oh, you know what? I've got my trash can. I totally forgot about that. Don't need the seeds. Don't need the canola seeds. Don't need the beetroot. Hops. I don't remember getting hops. Flax seed I might hold on to. Coco, I've got those making. I don't need you right now. Yeah, let's just do that. <coughs> One of these has seeds in them. I, like, I forget which ones have what in them. This guy had seeds. So you'll go in there. Hops will go in there. I'll put my plant matter back in here. Snowballs. I'll put you up with the heavy explosive snowballs because that just seems like a smart place to put you guys for right now. Like so. And now we've got all four of our slime balls. Okay. I need, I think it's 64 of each to complete this. Yes. So I'm definitely going to need the saplings and the trees. So I'm going to need to grab myself three saplings. Like so. And we're going to come up here. Oh, I didn't even see what the infusion was. Um, what do I need? Six hearts. Oh, that's it. Just that, that, that. Okay, cool. Let's do this. I just picked up more random stuff. Okay, so I've got enough hearts for at least the first one, right? So I'm going to put orange in my hand and put a sapling down and then just right click. Yes. Oh, we're getting there. Ha ha ha. Okay. So you down and five hearts. Come on. I want six hearts. And go. Well, that wasn't very nice of you. Come on. Drop me another sapling. Come on. Drop one on my head, please. Really? Okay. I was like, come on. You can do this. All right. So you. Oh, I see. I just donated to... I didn't know that happened, but that's cool. I forgot to put the slime balls in my hand. All right, and you, and you. It did it again. Oh, I didn't have enough hearts. <sighs> okay, I'm going to figure this system out. Eventually, I'm going to be able to Minecraft like a normal person. I just didn't have the hearts. Okay, let's get my hearts back up here. Come on. There we go. Now I got more than six hearts, and boop. Why aren't you working? Why do I only have three? Where's my other blue slime ball? I had four blue slime balls, didn't I? Didn't I? Where's my other blue slime ball at? I mean, I can go make another one. I've got extra slime balls on me. Um, Why am I so slow? Slowness three, jump boost three. So I can jump really high, but I go slow? What's going on here? Uh, do you do too many infusions? Does it hurt you? Uh, whatever. One, two... It's two lapis per, right? Yeah. All right. Slowness gone. So two of you, one of you. Now I've got four. Okay, there we go. Oh, that was weird. Why I only had three? I could have sworn. I made sure I had four, didn't I? And boop. All right, cool. Now I'm going to start making up some slime balls. And this was pretty good. So I need to make basically um, three more hoppers, three more chests. Um, okay, so let me just grab a stack of wood right now. So one, two, three, four, five, six for the chests. Um, oh, wait, and then I'm going to want somewhat 12 total. Well, we'll do 16. And we'll make up eight chests. I need three for the hoppers, three for the chests. And I'm going to need some more iron. How much iron do I have? 
I'm going to need 15 iron. Sweet. And I actually forget the recipe for the hopping bonsai. What was that? Hopping bonsai. This guy. I'm going to need four, five bricks and a wood. So I'm going to need 15 clay. Do I have any clay made? Yes, I do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I had 12. Jeez. Just take those out. There we go. You go in there. Oh, I've got some more. There you go. Charcoal in there. Get that going. I've got dirt in here, right? Yes. I need three dirt. And then I can make the hoppers up real quick. So, of course I did that, didn't I? There we go. And the chests. One, two, three. So, we're going to do one chest right here. Um, not a hopper. A chest. There we go. One, two, three. Oh. And three. And now I'm just waiting on the clay to make the hoppers. Yes, this is awesome. And then I can kind of fast forward this process. And once we're done, we will get the uh, achievement done. And so I'll be right back once that's all smelted up and I get them all set up and we get all the stuff completed. So we'll be back in just a minute. So just wrapping up guys, um, I was running around and I noticed that I started to see the green sparkles pop up as I was running by the bonsai trees. And I was like, huh, I wonder if I can bone mealies to speed the process up. And it turns out it works. <laughs> so the orange ones are pretty easy because of the fact that I get these congealed magma slime blocks. But unfortunately you get the green ones for the purple and blue. So that wasn't working. So basically I just go into town to get my 64 like this. Um, I'm almost there, 53. And so I just made myself a whole bunch more plant matter and figured I'll just hurry up and get the 64 this way. Ah, 64, got it. And now I've got 15 of these. And so once we get these, then that will be achievement completed and I will be so happy. But it's kind of funny, like I tried to plant the trees to see if there was drops and there's no slime ball drops from the trees, but I did make myself a muddy, whatever it's called, a green slime dirt. Useless, but I made it. So yeah, that was, I was trying to do anything to try to speed this process up and turned out just a whole bunch of plant matter was kind of the way to go. Almost there. And that should be enough. Yep. Perfect. Got you, got you, and you should be more than enough. Tons of you. Oh, way more than enough. All right, cool. Let's submit this guy and bingo. And we've got another one unlocked. And we've unlocked BS. What is BS? <laughs> uh, better storage. <gasps> nice. This, we've got some stuff to do now. We can get going into the farming, the basic automation, basic storage. And one of you guys said, I think it's something with these combustion collector and a quick dropper and a crucible inserter. So now I can automatically insert our little crystal things into there, which would be awesome. And then, oh gosh, so much stuff I have like in my mind right now that I want to do. Oh, I'm so excited. Let me put all this stuff away and put these back away. I don't know. I wonder if I'll ever actually need any of the slime other than just to accomplish the, the mission. But I've got a whole bunch of charcoal in the process and let's see if we can get a, a baby chick today. Let's see if we can get a 16 eggs, 17 eggs. We got to get a baby chick, right? Oh, we got one. Cool. Let's go to town with these baby chicks. I'm going to have to get rid of these animals eventually, but I just think it's kind of fun having them around right now. They're not overly annoying so far. So but anyways, guys, yeah, we've got that. And oh, you know what? With all the slime, can I, I, wow, I know that was really loud. Can I make myself some slime shoes just for fun? Can I make some slime shoes? One slime ball there. One slime ball there. Let's try to make some slime shoes real quick. I think the recipe is like this, right? Ah ha ha. Just for fun. I know these boots are probably way better. Oh wow, actually those gave me two hearts. Totally forgot about that. We're gonna keep those. <laughs> We're not taking those off anytime soon. All right, cool. So, well, we got a pair of slime boots just for fun. Whatever, I'll put them over here in this chest with like weapons and stuff like that. Um, 
But yeah, I think this was pretty productive because I'm going to look more into trying to automate this system with the stone so I can constantly produce and not have to worry about this stuff in the glass and constantly making more of that. And then maybe figuring out a way to pull from here. I don't know how I'm going to write. I don't. Yeah, I can't automate. I don't know. I'll, I'll keep thinking about it. But guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm having a lot of fun. This uh, so much new stuff. <laughs> the freezer, I just laugh at. But like, you know, this, the sluice box, I, like I said, I kind of breeze by it. I want to check on it today. And it seems like it could be kind of cool. I just got to figure out how to use it. But if we can start automating these in the next episode, that would make me one extremely happy camper. So y'all know the deal. Until next time, travelers, I'm Slaughter Havoc and I'm out of here. Peace.